How to develop a conceptual framework. Step-by-step -step guide. Before studying the application of the conceptual framework, we need to first define it. It can be defined as a visual presentation of key variables, factors or concepts and their relationship with each other which have been or have to be studied in the research either graphically or in some other narrative form. Miles and Huberman, 1994. A conceptual framework is like pre-planning wherein we define what the research will include. However, the position of a conceptual framework within qualitative and quantitative research varies. Difference in position of conceptual framework in quantitative research and qualitative research. The table below explains the difference in position in quantitative research and qualitative research. In the case of quantitative research, the researcher defines the research problem and key variables which will be used to resolve the problem. However, in the case of qualitative research, inductive position is applicable wherein the researcher seeks to build up theory. In such a situation, existing theories can be misleading and therefore the conceptual framework emerges after the research is complete. However, here I should point out that researchers generally have an idea of what will feature in the study which could be treated as a tentative framework that would give an idea, however, can be changed over a period of time. How to develop a conceptual framework. There are several inputs that are essential when working on a conceptual framework. The two main elements are, number one element is, experiential knowledge technical knowledge, research background and personal experience. And, number two element is, literature review, related theory, related research and other theories and research related to the topic. Seven steps to develop a conceptual framework. Number one step is, identify the key variables used in the subject area of study. Number two step is, draw out key variables within something you have already written about the subject area that is literature review. Number three step is, perennial to the aim. Segregate them as dependent and independent variables. Number four step is, take one key variable and then brainstorm all the possible things related to the key variable that is dependent variable. Number five step is, after all the variables have been defined, focus on the number of relationships they can form with each other to determine the interrelationships between all. Number six step is, the arrows used to identify the relationship between variables must be applied in the direction as to what impacts the other. And, number seven step is, Always keep in mind that the formation of a conceptual framework directs the researcher to apply a suitable test for analysis. Using a flowchart to present conceptual framework. In this flowchart, it is evident that academic staff job satisfaction is associated with pay and growth resources, work family conflict stressor, work relationship stressor, and work role stressor. Therefore, the dependent variable here is academic staff job satisfaction while the rest are independent variables. A suitable correlation or regression test can be applied knowing this representation. Using a tree diagram to present conceptual framework. Similarly, in this tree diagram, it is well understood that customers' behavior changes with respect to various factors like experiences, values, lifestyle, or product expectations in terms of price, quality, information, etc. Therefore, this indicates that there are two possible areas for analyzing a customer's behavior and thus two hypotheses can be constructed out of this. One is related to consumer behavior with respect to experiences, values, lifestyle, etc., while the other can be based on the product's expectation. 
A conceptual framework is essential to bring focus to the content and also acts as a link between literature, methodology, and results. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.